What is going on guys? DBG here and today we are going to be talking more about um, Locker Codes. We're talking about, we are talking about that, but we're talking more about Locker Codes. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are trying to 250,000 subscribers by the end of this month. We have like 20 days to do it and we have 5,000. It's going to be very, very close, but it's doable, but it's doable. So lads, there is one locker, there is one specific card that everyone is going for. And the specific card is this guy, well, it is the gold key guard. Everyone's looking for Tyloo. Because Tyloo automatically gives you J.R. Smith. You get Tyloo, you automatically go to level 40 and get J.R. Smith. So it just stops the grind. It just stops all the grind. So people are kind of going crazy. They're going crazy about these locker codes. And assuming everything is for Tai Lu. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I can almost guarantee you that this code is not for Tai Lu. Because as far as I am aware, it is a limited time locker code, not a limited code. But you never know. You never know with this. So, like again, I've just been grinding the game the last couple of days, so it's been a it's been a little bit hectic for me the last while. But um yeah, so basically we have got I'm struggling to um to think right now. We've got uh, certain creators dropped locker codes. Basically the signed creators well, a good few of them dropped three different parts of a code. So we started off with Fangs, the FIFA YouTuber, um dropping part of a code, and then Henry dropped a bit of the code, and um JD dropped a bit of the code. So after I'm trying to think who's the end. So it went Fangs, Henry, Josh, then Jay. Um, Jay Canada is the last part of the code. And Jay Canada is currently live right now on Twitch. I wonder how many people are, are in this stream. There are 3,000 people in the stream. And thankfully, we know the exact time. Like, thankfully, we know the exact time. There's 3,000 people here. And lads, it's going to be at the top of the hour. It's going to be at the top of the hour the code goes live. I don't know what's the, what's the story is with the code. But... Everyone is kind of speculating for the code and there's gonna be a lot of hype like there's gonna be a ton of hype for um this For like this um Specific code for the first one if this code is good Then 2k are going to be I like, do a more like well I think 2k are gonna do more of these but there's gonna be hype more and more hype as the weeks go on and yeah, so Basically uh, as we can see here no one knows what's in the code. It says it's live for 24 hours. There is no, I'm tell like, Josh read out the email. He said it's limited and live for 24 hours. I'm almost certain that that means having received codes from 2K in the, like last year, having read emails from 2K, I'm pretty sure the way he, he read out the email live on his stream, I don't think it's limited quantity. I do not think it's limited quantity. Um, it's live for 24 hours. I will be shocked if it's limited quantity. So far, you have J9C, HDB34, JD2C4. I don't know what the last one could be because Fangs gave it the J Canada code. Probably like Fangs, some, or two Fangs, one Fangs. Like there's almost FA1GS. Like it could be literally like, or NG, or it could just be Fangs. Like that's five letters. Struggling to speak, but um, yeah, it could, it could be anything. It could be actually anything. So what is my prediction for this code? I think the code is literally going to be everything in the order that it was released. It's going to be J first, Henry, JD, then whatever the last code is. Or if the last code was related to Fangs, they might have given out the wrong parts of the code. It could be Fangs, J, Henry, JD. A lot of people are kind of hyping this up to be something that it's not. And I think I did it a little bit with the Embiid code, so I'm kind of bringing expectations down a little bit. Um, I don't, I don't think it's going to be anything good. I really don't. Let's see what the reaction is. Um, had one part. He says it's going to be limited quantity. I. Jay Canada said it's unlimited. He said that it is unlimited, but it's a limited time. Um. So like. And having seen 2K's codes, 2K have never referred... The only unlimited locker code 
in 2K right now. There is only one, as far as I am aware, unlimited locker code in 2K. It's the only one that they've called unlimited, and it's the My Team Community Hub. The one that's been there since day one, the one that's there till the very end. As far as I am aware, the My Team Community Hub locker code is the only unlimited locker code in my team. Every other locker code, I'm pretty sure, is, is limited. So, my prediction is, I'm a... Like, there's 3,000 people in this stream right now. There was probably 5,000 in Henry's YouTube stream because, well... Normally, for Twitch streams, you can just double the amount on YouTube. Because normally, YouTube... If you're getting 3K on a Twitch stream, you're, you're probably getting 6, 7K on a YouTube stream. At least. So, um, yeah, there was probably a lot of people looking for this. And I'm going to be completely honest. I don't see it. It's probably not Tyloo. It is highly, highly unlikely to be Tyloo. I think people are expecting things to be... And we have to... We can't remember... We can't forget that, like, the last time 2K brought in, like, a new locker code thing, it was the Ambush locker code for Jeremy Lin. We can't forget that, like... That was a thing. And I think that if this was for Tyron Lu, they would specifically tell us it's for Tyron Lu. Because I think the fact that it's not... The fact that they didn't tell us specifically that it is for Tyron Lu, people are speculating that it's for Lu. So... I personally think that every Tyron Lu code is going to have something to do with the runes. I think they're all going to have something to do with the runes. I think if we don't see runes anywhere, I think it's highly unlikely that the code is for Lu. Um, and I think that 2K are doing a really good job at hype. And I got to give 2K credit for this because they're doing a really, really good job at hype not telling us what's involved with anything. And because we're not being told, everyone's doing mind gymnastics and assuming everything is Tyron Lu. And in fairness, to an extent, I was a little bit of the same. So, yeah, what do I think it's going to be? I think we see... I think it's going to be a code for a out-of-position pack or a radioactive pack or... What was the other one? What was the second one? Flash 8 or Flash 9. Whichever, fla whichever the most recent Flash is. I think we're going to see Flash. We're going to see out of position pack. I think we're going to see a the guaranteed um, radioactive pack. That is what my prediction is. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Code's probably going to be out in about 15, 20 minutes. I'll leave a link to Jcanada's Twitch in the description so that you guys can see what the code is. But all I'm going to say is do not get your hopes up. And I'm telling you this right now. It is almost certainly not going to be Tyloo. And if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, I'll be happy because people have gotten the Tyloo. I will be... If I am wrong, I again, I'm not going to be annoyed because, again, I'm wrong more often than I'm right. Huge shout out to Jay. I'm watching a stream. He's just won on a buzzer beater. But at the end of the day, after the Embiid situation, I'm setting my like expectations as low as possible. And I would rather be pleasantly surprised than expect an Embiid and get a league pack. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.